Hey guys, you're back again with Layla Kalan and today the video will be about the autonomic plexuses and ganglia of the abdomen and thoracic region. So let's start with our mnemonic which is a bit funny maybe. So it's Cardi B, paid, opera. A huge sum lately to win glamour. Okay, Cardi B paid opera a huge sum lately to win glamour. Okay, so let's write them down. We've got C, which comes with the B. We've got a P an O, A and a H, okay, then we've got, um, two seconds, yeah, that's plexuses, so this would be number one, plexuses, and then we can move on to the ganglion, uh, ganglia would be the sum lately two and then this one is an extra bit which is the fibers and I'll include when and glamour in this one okay or actually maybe side to side it's better all right Let's start. So, Cardi B goes for cardiac plexus, and I'll tell you about the B in a bit. P would go for pulmonary. O is esophageal. A is abdominal. And H is hypogastric. And that's the division between the thoracic and the abdominal plexuses. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm, yeah. The ganglia S would be for sacral. If you remember from the last uh, couple, no, um, I think the sympathetic video. Uh, lecture that the, these three are mentioned you have got the sacral one you've got the lumbar ganglia you've got the thoracic and the cervical but cervical is on our last video because it's about the head and the neck so we've only included these three here thoracic and the fibers would be white and gray I'll complete them so white and gray together become ramus communicants okay so white ramus communicants and gray ramus communicants okay all right now we can start so the cardiac plexus i've written cardi b because the cardiac pla uh, plexus lies at the base of the heart okay the pulmonary one supplies the bronchial tree and there's nothing special about the esophageal one. From the name you can tell what they supply, right? So what you need to know is common about all three is that the parasympathetic division comes from the vagus nerve, of course, and the sympathetic supply comes from the sympathetic trunk. Okay, all right. Next, we move on to the abdominal one, which is uh, on the sides or in front of uh, the aorta. Okay, and it's got a celiac plexus and the celiac ganglion, if you remember, ganglion and a lumbar ganglion as well. Okay, 
If you mention uh, where it lies and it supplies the abdomen, of course, and it's got a celiac plexus, that should be enough. Hypogastric, there are two. There's a superior one and there's an inferior one. Okay, so the superior one is on the vertebral um, bodies below the bifurcation of the aorta. So below the bifurcation of the aorta. The inferior one is also known as the pelvic uh, plexus in some textbooks because it supplies the viscera, the viscera of the pelvic cavity. Pelvic cavity. So it's a paired structure. It's paired, and it lies. Um, on both sides of the rectum in men or the rectum and the vagina in women. Okay? Um, yeah, so these are the paravertebral ganglia. Uh, these ones, so they start from T1 to T12. Right? They're the, para, they're the thoracic, the thoracic paravertebral ganglia. And the nerves, obviously, um, I can write them for you as well. The nerves are cardiopulmonary nerves. And then you've got the greater, lesser, and least splanchnic nerves, which I told you about in my last videos. is called the thoracic splanchnic nerves. So you've got greater, lesser, and least. They help uh, provide sympathetic innovation. Okay, um, if you don't know what plexuses are, they are um, they are made up of sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic fibers. So they are a mass of fibers which consist of both para parasympathetic vagus nerve and sympathetic. Okay, then we move on to the ganglia. You know, sacral, lumbar, thoracic. There are ganglia, and um, in addition to this, if you remember from the sympathetic video, again we've got um, four more ganglia, which is celiac. Do you remember celiac ganglion? You've got the aortic renal, renal, and the aortic renal consists of three, which is the superior, inferior, and renal. Mesenteric ganglia, inferior mesenteric ganglia, and renal ganglia, and they're all a part of the pre aortic ganglion or chain. So, this is about the ganglia, and then we go to the fibers. So, you've got white and gray ramus chemicals, the two way system again. So the white one, one difference is that the white ones are myelinated, so they are white, and the grey ones are unmyelinated, and hence they're grey, right? Okay, uh, yeah, so um, the white ones go uh, from T1 to L2, they carry the preganglionic, so they are preganglionic, which is why I put it first ganglionic nerve fibers from the spinal cord to the paravertebral to the paravertebral ganglia okay and the gray ones are the postganglionic ganglionic so they go from the para they go from the para to the target organs or their destination. Right, that is it about the white and the grey ramus communicans and Cardi B paid opera here some lately to win glamour. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. It was um a long topic, the autonomic um, nervous system, five videos in total, but I hope it helped and uh, take care guys, see you!